أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم In this session, we are going to develop a very basic structural model to assess the relationship between one independent and one dependent variable. Now, this is the model that we've been working on. This is our measurement model. Now, let's say we want to check the relationship between authentic leadership and life satisfaction. So, how do we develop such a basic model? So, what we need to do is we need to go to create a new file. So here is our new file. First of all, let's see if we've got the data. No, there is no data. So go to file name and locate your data. I've loaded my data, press OK. And here is my data set. Now the first step is we want to draw a latent variable with the indicators. So authentic leadership has got five indicators. So I've selected this here, draw a latent variable or add an indicator to the latent variable. So what I'll do is after selection, I'll click here. Now, how many indicators do I need? I need five indicators. So within this circle, when this is highlighted as red, click one, two, three, four, and five. Now you have got five indicators here. And my life satisfaction score will need four indicators because one of the indicator was removed during measurement model. But for now, let's use all five. So what we'll do is again, make sure that this is selected, click here, and this will be loaded here. Now, if you want to resize it, what you can do is you can drag and drop and change the size as well. Now let's remove this one here and let's add the indicator. So go within the circle Make sure you've selected this option here. Within the circle, when this is highlighted as red, click one, two, three, four, and five. Next step is I want to arrange this model. So what I'll do is I'll move the indicators for my IV to the left. So I'll click in the circle so they keep moving. I want the indicators for my DV on the right one. So they moved on the right. So indicators for your IV on the left and indicators for your DV on the right. Now I want to move this model. How do I do this? I select this move object button here. Now click on this, but you'll see if you, if you try to move, the whole model doesn't move. The reason being, you have to preserve the symmetries. So click here. Now preserve the symmetries, move it here. Move this one here. Now this is a very large model. Look at this, it's going outside your canvas but we'll do the setting later. Now, what we need to do is just add our variables, our indicators to the model. So you drag your indicators like this and drop it onto the rectangle here when it's red. Similarly, I'm going to do this for all of them. Now I have added all the indicators. Next step, we will obviously add the error terms or the name to the error terms. So go to plugins, name unobserved variable. So now look at this. All your error terms are now named as E1, E2 up until E10. Now we need to name these as well. So double click on it and let's say I want to name it authentic leadership and I want to name it life satisfaction. Now we want to link these two latent variables. So what we do is draw a path. So click here, draw a path from here to here. Now you can touch up just to clean it up a bit. Here it is. All else looks good. What you do is you can resize the path diagram to fit on one page. Here it is. Now it's fitting on one single page. Now. If you are not happy with the size now, just undo this one. And what you can do is you can go to view interface properties. Instead of portrait, select landscape legal. So now the size is of the canvas is a bit bigger. You can obviously view larger area of the path diagram. Just click it so that you can view the larger area of the path diagram. And now you can move your model like this here, slightly here, slightly 
here now this is too much away or too far away from your indicator so what you can do is you can move these just make sure that this object and the symmetries are preserved just click on one of them and you can move them in similarly you can do for this one here move them in now let's arrange this here here now the model is fine now how do you run this model to assess whether authentic leadership is actually influencing life satisfaction so what we do is make sure your analysis properties are properly selected we need standardized estimates let's say uh, modification indices correlation of estimates squared multiple correlation for the r square let's cross it let's run it okay now look at this the following variables are endogenous but have no residual error variables now if you remember the theory that we've been discussing you need an error term on all your endogenous variable that have an arrow flowing towards them look at these arrow is going towards the indicator so they've got our error term for residual error now where is the error term for life satisfaction so we will click here add a unique variable to an existing variable click here and just come on to your endogenous variable when it's red and click here so now you have added an error term here you can double click it here or rename it by going to plugins name unobserved variable now this is renamed now you can run your model without any error but obviously first make sure you save it let's name it fm first model now your model is running so all good look at the standardized estimates well the loadings are good the weight of impact is good the path coefficient 0 0.50 this is your square multiple correlation r square the loadings are good very good let's look at our output look at the model fit good good pretty good your cfi is good tli is good gfi is good your chi-square divided by degrees of freedom is acceptable your rmsca well not very good but obviously what happens is in the earlier model where we use modification indices to co-vary the error terms obviously we should have kept those covariances there but for the sake of this video this is just to introduce the structural model in the following videos I will use the same model that I built as a measurement model and use the same structure or the covariances that I've done there in my structural model. Now where is or where are my estimates? In this case I'm interested in the impact of authentic leadership on life satisfaction. So look at here, authentic leadership, the arrow is going towards life satisfaction. So authentic leadership is influencing life satisfaction. Is this influence significant? Well yes, the p-value says so yes the influence is significant the critical ratio is greater than 1.96 the standardized estimate is 0.501 the unstandardized regression weight is 0.47 so we can conclude based on this structural model that authentic leadership has a significant impact on life satisfaction why because your p-values are significant these statics are showing significance the three sterics obviously less than 0 0.001 critical ratio is greater than 1.96 so yes your relationship are significant we are not interested in these for our structural model because we have already assessed these in our measurement model so this is how you develop build and run a basic structural model in amos thank you very much